I always talked about the what in this situation, what is selling for $125 right now. But I never talked about the why and how. So unlike my other videos where I kind of just point my fingers and laugh at eBay like every single video I make on this channel, we're going to go and dive deeper into this and why this is even happening in the first place. I've been staring at this all day, I still don't get it. Really, I would say it boils down to two main points. The first one being a bit more simple and the second one being a bit more complex. The first one, the game is pretty niche. It still is popular. I'm sure if you show people this image, they're all going to know what game it is, or at least most people. But, you know, the game is kind of like a, a play of one time experience it. And then a lot of people just kind of forget about it. So not a lot of people know that they release a lot of merchandise, as we can see on their website. They got a ton of collabs, and these collabs are consistently releasing new merchandise. And a lot of it is pretty creative stuff. And it's very interesting to see it and even collect some of it because it's niche. Not that many people really buy it. When people don't buy it, there isn't really much of a market for it. So then when the people who do want it, want it and miss out on it, then that creates kind of a high demand for it because there wasn't really a demand for it ever until now. Which definitely explains why they're all super expensive now, but they were originally $20. I don't know why half of them got a one-star rating. Uh, I'm guessing they can't get rid of these things. I don't know why they don't just sell them cheaper. Also, the fact that a lot of the merchandise is pretty creative and a bit more than just t-shirts and keychains, and why it seems like all this stuff gets super expensive on eBay. You know, we do have some accessories and stuff like that, but with every, you know, hoodie we get, we always get some something a bit different, you know, like the Ocean and Space collaboration. I mean, first of all, this has got to be one of my favorite merch collaborations. And yeah, you know, when you see something like a Doki Doki Lidge Club art book or something like this with all this art stuff, that's going to be pretty interesting, but not that many people are really going to buy it because who's going to use this? But surely people use it when eBay is selling it. The second part, which is really the main reason why a lot of this stuff just sells for not very much money and then gets resold for really expensive on eBay. And this one's kind of a long, complex one, so, so don't click off the video. Hear me out. We're going to start off by saying that most people buying this stuff, most people spending $50 on a figurine, they're pretty hardcore fans. I don't think someone who hates DDLC is going to buy all the merchandise. I mean, that would just be silly. Yeah, that kind of leads into the whole thing before I was saying where, yeah, this is niche. Not that many people are buying. Doki Doki Wage Club Monica Collectors Plush. It's called Collectors for a reason. But there is a big difference between collectors and resellers. All right, you know, resellers are going to buy this stuff and they're just going to sell it on eBay again. I don't know, maybe they get it on sale or maybe they just charge extra for it for no reason and people buy it anyways. I never really understood that, but we're talking about eBay. And most people aren't just going to buy and sell Doki Doki Wage Club merch for a living. That's not very sustainable. And really, that just leaves the collectors buying this stuff. And even me, a Doki tuber who makes videos about this game, I don't buy a lot of this merchandise. I mean, I buy some of it that looks more of like the collectible interest things is just down to the the hardcore ddlc fans buying this stuff and you know they're gonna buy it they're gonna love it and they're gonna it's gonna be tough for them to just give it up you know they buy this stuff and they usually collect it and it just sits on the shelf then in their ddlc merchandise collections and just like what i was saying before these collectors hardly ever sell their stuff because well it's a collection you don't buy stuff and then just decide to get rid of it you actually keep it and collect it and proudly display it on a shelf not on the ebay listing results and this is pretty clear when looking up things about Doki Doki Wage Club, you can see you get a few search results, but then they kind of fall off. Like we're already getting Monica figures, and then we're getting Sayori plushies. Then we're getting, I don't think these are even official merchandise products, which proves my point that not many people are really selling this, so not much supply. And there's a quite a big demand for these things prices are going to get high which i don't know how they haven't stabilized because i can't see many people spending 264 dollars for a monica figure that was originally like 26 dollars if you made it to the end let me know if you agree with this or if you have anything else to add on please comment it and thanks for watching